In this video, I want to show you as quickly as I can how to create a drop down menu uh, just using HTML and CSS coding. So, as you can see here, you've got a very simple web page with a menu bar at the top. Hover effect works great, and when you get to the third option here, you've got a little drop down menu where you can pick from a number of links. So, fairly simple web page, hopefully, it won't take us too long to make. Uh, to get started, we're going to need to go into our accounts and make ourselves a new folder. I just call mine drop down menu, and inside of that is where we're going to save all of our work today. So there's two files that we're going to need uh, to get started. I'll just close off these old files in brackets. Okay, so open up Adobe Brackets and we're going to make ourselves two new documents. The first one, when we make it, we're going to save it straight away and we're going to save it into that folder that we just created. So dig back through your account there and find the folder you just made and the name we're going to give it is menu html and click save then we're going to make a second new file so go back to file and new and this time we're going to go to save as and again we'll just have to search for that folder we created there it is and this time we're going to call it style.css okay so this is our style sheet that's going to be attached to our html document okay so on the left hand side now you should have your two documents ready to roll we're going to start with the menu page today. Okay, so open up the menu.html document and we're going to start like we always do by adding the doc type tag at the top of the page just to tell the computer we are making a HTML document or a web page. A couple of lines down, open up your pointy brackets and get your HTML tags started and inside those HTML tags create your head section. Inside the head section today we'll just put a title that says drop down menu and after that we're just going to link this HTML document to the style sheet so whatever we write on the style sheet the changes will occur to our menu uh, web page so I'm just going to write in link rel equals style sheet and href which means where do you want this to link to so we want it to link to the style sheet in our accounts okay so that's our head section all done Coming in next is the body section. Okay. In the body section, we've got a menu to start with. Okay, and menus are done up in unordered lists. So do your UL tags to do up an unordered list. And I want you to put in the three list items to start with. So open up your LI tags. And we're going to do the home button first. After the home button, we've got an about button. And finally, our last list item is called drop down. Alright, so after we've put in our three list items, make sure that your unordered list is closed off. And we're going to come back to that in just a moment to make it work. I just want to get the rest of the writing put in first of all. So just a bit further down underneath that unordered list, we're going to put in a H3 heading that says drop down menu inside a navigation bar. Okay, so that's our heading. And underneath that, we'll just do a new paragraph. In that paragraph, it will say, hover over the drop down menu, or drop down link, sorry, drop down link to see the drop down menu. And how did I spell drop down? Did it with capitals? So, what I might do is just stick some quotation marks around that. That looks pretty good. Uh, we've got our body section closed off and our HTML section closed off down the bottom. Okay, so that's the basic structure of our web page set up. If we just have a quick preview of that, we'll see how it's looking. All right, so fairly simple at the moment. We've got our menu bar at the top here as an unordered list, and then we've got some writing beneath that. Okay, fairly good so far. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just head back up to the unordered list and we're going to get this finished off. Okay, So, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. We have to make a few new class names here and a few links to get this working properly. So first of all, in the list item home, to make that into an actual working link, what you would do is open up your pointy brackets and do the ahref and link it to whatever page you want it to go to. I'm just going to do a hashtag in there for the minute. 
Okay, that just means that it will still be a working link, it just won't go anywhere. Okay, it will stay on the same page. And don't forget the word home needs to be cut back out and put before that closing A tag. So it goes in between the A tags there. Okay, basically the same thing can be done for the about section below there. Okay, so make sure you have the word about in between the A tags there. Okay, if you're on a proper website here, you probably have something like about.html written there in place of the hashtag. You probably have index.html written there instead of the hashtag. But we're not making those extra pages today. I just want to show you how this drop down menu works. Okay, when we get down to this third button, things are going to change a little bit. I'm just going to push it down onto the next couple of lines and leave the li tag at the top here. I'm going to get inside that opening li tag and just write class equals and in quotation marks. I'm going to write drop down all as one word. Down on the next line, I'm going to put in a link, so ahref equals, and once again, I'm just going to write the hashtag in between these quotation marks. Okay, and after that, I'm going to give it a class name, so just write class equals, and this time I'm going to write drop btn, basically stands for drop button. Close off the pointy brackets there. And I'm just going to take the word drop down here and cut it out and put it in between those A tags. So we've got the link basically to nothing again, which is the hashtag, and the class name drop button. We've got the words drop down, which are going to appear on our page as our third button, and then the closing off of the link. Okay. Down on the next line, we're going to do a div tag. So I'm going to write div class equals, I'm going to write drop down dash content. So now we're going to be talking about the content that goes in our drop down menu. So what are our links going to be inside that drop down menu? Okay, so inside that div, we're simply going to add in some more of these little ahref equals hashtags. I'm going to add three of them to be exact. So one, two, oops, one, two, and three. And what I'm going to do is just write the names of the buttons in. So link one, link two, link three. And now we just need to close off these A tags at the end of them. Okay, then we can close our div tag off. That's all done and we'll close off our list item as well. It's a little bit confusing but just make sure you pause the video there and make sure this section that's highlighted is written in exactly the same as what I've got on my screen here. Okay, so basically we've got our button called drop down, which is our third button in our main menu bar. And beneath that we've got the drop down content, which is these three links, link one, link two, link three. If we save that and test it, it's not going to look any good just yet. Okay, we've got home, about, and our drop down link, link, and there's our three links that go inside that drop down link. It's just a matter of using a bit of CSS now to style this up, and then we'll be finished. So that's our HTML done. So make sure you've saved that by pressing Control S. And now you can head over to your style sheet. So we're going to give this page a bit of style. To start with, I just want to set up the body uh, section. So let's just write in the word body and open up some curly braces. And we're just going to write font dash family and choose sans serif. When you save that, you'll just notice that your font changes to a sans serif font, which is known to be an easier font to read online. Okay, into the unordered list now, we're going to start styling up this menu. So do your UL tag and open up your curly braces. First of all, we just want to get rid of the bullet points from our list. So we set our list style type to none, which just removes the bullet points from our menu bar up there. That's an easy one. A few other things we're going to do is just set the margin to zero. We're going to set the padding to zero. I'm going to change overflow to hidden and the background color, which is just the word background. We're just going to change that to let's do hashtag 333. Okay, that's all we're going to do to style up the unordered list section. So if we save that and have a look, you'll see we've now got this dark, very dark gray color there. Okay, and our links, they're underlined but there's no more bullet points, which is good, and there's no padding and no margin, so it goes right to the edge of the page. All right, so let's keep going. Next thing we're going to style up is each of the list items, so each of the bullet points in our list. Basically, all I want to do is write float 
left. And when I save that, you'll see that basically it's changed it from a vertical menu bar to a horizontal one. So our links now go across the page from left to right. So at home, about, and drop down. You can see those hidden links underneath the drop down there, which is our drop down menu, link one, two, and three. We're going to format those in just a moment to make them look a lot better. Okay. The next thing we want to style up is our hyperlinks, so the A tag. So what we have to do here is write LI for list item and then do A. I also want to style up the drop button to be the same. So I'm just going to do dot drop button. So you want to style up that drop button class as well. Okay, we'll open up our curly braces and what we're going to do first is display as an inline block. And then we're going to change the color to white, which changes the text color to white. Save that, you'll see what I mean. Okay, you can see that they're all split up into little blocks now as well, like individual buttons. Still in the um, L, I, A, and drop button section there. We're going to put the text align to center. It's not going to make a huge difference, but he's going to put the text in the center of each button. I'm going to put a bit of padding around each button now. So 14 pixels, space, 16 pixels. If we have a look at that now, you'll see a little bit of space appearing, so a bit of padding. 14 pixels around each side, 16 pixels around the top and bottom. Okay, it's starting to look more like a menu bar already. But we're still going. Underneath the padding, I just want to choose text decoration as none, and that gets rid of the underline from our hyperlinks. Okay, so none of these buttons have hyperlink. Oh, sorry, the underlines anymore. Okay, if I just click out of that for a sec, um, I'll click up in body. You'll see that they don't have those blue borders around them either. That was just brackets showing me what I was working on at the time. That's looking pretty good, but we do need to hide these links down here. We only want those to appear when we actually hover over the drop down. Okay, so we're working our way towards that. Next thing we want to style up, so we're going outside the curly braces. So we're going to do the list item again. And this time we're going to do the A colon hover effect. So that's our hover effect when we roll over these buttons. I'm also going to do a comma and do the dot drop down colon hover. So when we hover over the top of our uh, drop down menu, those buttons are going to have the same sort of effect as our normal links. And we're also going to put a space and do the drop button itself. Okay, so that's just the drop down button. So we'll open up these curly braces and all we're going to do is change the background color. So just write the word background, choose a color. I've got one here that I chose earlier. It's hashtag 786BDE. So if you want to see the hover effect now working on the buttons, there's the first two buttons working nicely. There's the drop button class. And when we hover over the three links in our drop down contents there, they're looking good as well. Alrighty, so we've got the hover effect working pretty nicely. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is do an li dot drop down, open up the curly brackets, and this time we're just going to display our drop down options as an inline block again. Save that and have a look. Doesn't really do much. Just affected this section over here and affected these into little blocks. Um, we'll keep rolling, so let's do the content inside the drop down box now. So dot drop down dash contents. Content, sorry. Inside the curly braces, we're going to choose display as none, and that basically hides our little drop down menu. So if I go and save it and have a look now, you can see our drop down menu is missing. We've just told us display to be none, which hides it. And to bring it back, we're just going to set the position to absolute. A few other things we want to change is the background color. So just set the background there to, I'm going to do F9, F9, F9. Um, I'm going to set the minimum width of those buttons to 160 pixels. So they can't go any smaller than 160 pixels. And on the drop down box, I'm going to put a little bit of a box shadow in. So a little bit of a shadow behind that drop down box when it appears. You're barely going to see it. I just need to tell it on each side where I want that shadow to appear. So first side, not at all. Second side, 8 pixels of shadow. Next side, 16 pixels. Final side, 0 pixels again. And then I'm going to set its transparency. And we do that by writing RGBA. And we just set its red, 
comma green comma and blue comma colors to zero and then we just put the alpha channel to 0 0.2 which means it's only going to be visible by 20% of it so only 20% of it will be displayed it was at 100% you could fully see the shadow at 20% it's really faded out and quite transparent Okay, if we save that and have a look, we're probably not going to see too much difference yet. Okay, we haven't actually made the drop down menu come back up, which I will do in a second. Um, so, the next thing we're going to do, style up is the dot drop down dash contents, put a space, oh sorry, not contents, that's content, put a space and write the letter A. Okay, so the hyperlinks inside of our drop down content now, we're going to style up. First of all, the color, I'm going to set to black, so that's our text color. The padding, we're going to write 12 pixel, the left and right, I think that is, and top and bottom will be 16 pixel. Text decoration, probably don't need to write this because we wrote it earlier, but we'll write it in again anyway. We'll set to none, and the display will set to block. Make sure you've got your closed curly bracket. We're almost done now. Well, actually, we're not quite finished. I just forgot. Just after display block there, text dash align. We've just got to make sure it's left aligned. All right, so that's that section done. Now to make our uh, drop down menu actually appear, we've just got to put in dot drop down dash contents. Oh, content. I keep putting an S on that for some reason. And we're going to write A colon hover. So when we hover over these links, what's going to happen? We're going to change the background color. So just set your background to. I'm going to set one D7D to FF semicolon. And our final tag we're going to put in is dot drop down colon hover. Shouldn't have put a space there. Now I'll put a space and put dot drop down dash content. And inside the curly brackets, we're just going to put display equals block. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to save that, test it out, and we should now have a drop down menu that works nicely. You can see it's vertical now, it's not horizontal. Nice little hover effect over all those buttons. Everything's working great. Okay, so make sure you pause the video and Check the code, make sure you've got it all right. Just quickly scroll back up to the top so you can see everything else there. It was a fair bit of styling. Uh, the odd piece here and there that probably wasn't necessary, but we'll leave it in there for now. I think that looks pretty good. Make sure that's saved, your menu should be saved, and you've finished your first drop down menu using brackets and HTML and CSS coding.